Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz, and it's High Range Water Reducer Flower Week, brought to you by the Gerber Daisy. Ding! Gerber Daisies are one of my wives, wives, not wives, I don't have plural wives, one of my wife's uh, favorite flowers. This question is from Film Factory. Film Factory, thank you very much for all your questions. Truly, I don't know if you know this, but Film Factory has been asking about 30 questions in the last month. Maybe not that much, but Film Factory, send us your information, and we're going to get you a glow-in-the-dark business card. Thank you very much for all your support. Ding! Are HRWRs, or high-range water reducers, the same as super plasticizers? Again, Film Factory, thank you very much for the question. And just to give you a little bit of background, um, making the concrete plastic, or the definition of plastic, the definition of all things I'm going to be using today, comes from the American Concrete... Uh, Institute uh, Concrete Terminology for 2018. So that's ACICT18. So there, it's a free PDF. It's a dictionary for all things concrete and it's flipping awesome. And one of the definitions that they have for plasticity, or not one of the definitions, the definition that they have for plasticity is the ability for the concrete to plastically deform into the mold. And that's basically what we want out of our plasticizers, our super plasticizers, our water reducers, and our high range water reducers. And when you go a little bit deeper into the CT18, you'll find another definition for a plasticizer. And that's basically a chemical additive or admixture that's added to the concrete to give it more plasticity or the ability to deform or be placed into a mold or formwork. Now, going a little bit further, into the high range water reducer, that HRWR, it can have the same definition. And in the CT18, it actually specifies that they can be used synonymously, they can be used interchangeably. That was too, too big of a word for me. Really too big of a word. Now, the way that I understood high range water reducers and super plasticizers is that if we wanted a fluid concrete but still wanted a durable and strong concrete, uh, we use these technologies to create the same flow, the same workability, or the same ability to deform without having to use an excessive amount of water. With uh, a lot of these high range water reducers that are coming out, you can get 25 to 35 percent water reduction uh, compared to a mix that has that same amount of water, but you'll still maintain that same fluid property. And you have to do this to a certain degree without any stabilization or retardation of your hydration kinetics and without any air entrainment or uh, entrapment of larger air bubbles. Now, that being said, when you look at the specification that's, uh, or the doctrine that's created for these chemical admixtures, you actually do have water reducers that can have stabilization or retarding effects to them or accelerating effects. So, but that's going a little bit deeper into ASTMC 494, which we did last week. Okay, there, there is one thing, there is one thing. When it comes to the chemistry, there can be differences in the chemistries between all water reducers, all plasticizers. Whether it's a mid-range, a normal, a high-range water reducer, or a plasticizer, or a super plasticizer. And what I mean by that is traditionally, a high-range water reducer, or super plasticizer, is normally some type of polycarboxylate ether, polycarboxylate cone polymer, uh, something that creates steric repulsion. Uh, a mid-range, uh, a normal water reducer, and even a plasticizer, they operate normally off of um, changing the electronegative potential. So the difference being is the first one's a polycarboxylate, the other ones, or the high range and the super plasticizer, are polycarboxylates normally, and the normals, the mid-range, and just the plasticizer are normally lignins or naphthalenes. Now, I have seen documentation on what most people thought was a polycarboxylate high-range water reducer, but it wasn't. It was a melamine or a lignin or naphthalene, and the, data, uh, the technical data sheet actually said polycarboxylate style. So it wasn't the true chemistry that somebody was going after, and then when that end user started using the uh, additive or that, that water reducer as if it was a polycarboxylate, they started running into problems that they would normally see with your normal or mid-ranges or your plasticizers, those uh, chemicals that use 
the changing of the pH or the electronegative potential on it, that, that those issues normally come with a retardation or stabilization of the mix. The mix becomes really, really sticky, uh, or there's some accelerating effects with it too. So that's the last part that I wanted to cover today. Film Factory, thanks again. Ooh, I spit. Film Factory, thanks again for your question and your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding the bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!